Hi everyone, welcome back to my scrap room. Today I'm going to show you how to do a, a, a folio. I like, as you know, I like to make uh, big albums with a lot of space for photos, but sometimes they, they tend to, to take very long to make and they, it's so many photos in and sometimes you want something small that you can do in a day or two and so you can give it away with uh, not so many pictures or if you just have some pictures for the weekend that you want to, to put in a nice uh, folio this is the perfect project i've made this one for you in the collection enchanted forest it's from graphic 45 their latest collector edition it's really nice when they release the collector editions because this is an old collection i haven't been used before so i i looked forward to 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 uh, to use it so let's see this is uh, an ac folio it's it's uh, it measures uh, it measures six by eight because i wanted to to be able to use the six by eight no, the 8x8 pads. It's a, a slide locker here. Put it like this and you can open it. This one is loose. You can bring it out if you want to. This one goes over here. Spaces for uh, tags in here. It's, there is big space. Uh, it's to, to put more tags if you want to. Swing this over. So. Lots of spaces for photos and over here. And some small tax spots uh, of, for small tags. And here we have a uh, fake envelope. Swing it up like this and down like this. And down here I, I took some pattern paper and made a, a pocket. In the center here we have some uh, tags, you pull them out, they can stay in so that you can open this one, so that the, the tags is behind the belly band here. And we open it like this. So big space for photos over here. And here we have a big pocket so you can put more of these gorgeous tags. Closing it. If you want to have it like this, it's so totally fine. You can just put a magnet or just lay, let it be like this because it's going to lay flat in time. You can have it like this as well. Up and down and close it up. Really simple and easy to make. You have the measurements down in the box below. So we have the first piece is number A, the piece A. We're going to to score them. So the first piece is A, and it measures eight by twelve, and I've drawn a line under 12, that means that I'm going to put the measurement 12 up against the scoring board. And I'm going to score at 4 and 10. 4 and 10. Putting it aside, we have the next piece is B, 6.5 by 6 and a quarter. Put six and a quarter against the scoring board like this and score at a half an inch and five eighths. Over there. Like this. And the next piece is, is uh, C, six by five and three fourths. Three quarters. And this piece is going to be like this. Half 
seven inch and five eight. So the piece that I have drawn this line under is always up against the scoring board. And then we have the piece D, eight by five and three quarters, score as a half an inch and seven eight. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And E is exactly the same. Eight by five and three quarters and score line. Let's make it correct. And the score line, five and three quarters up against the scoreboard and score at the half and seven eighths. We have uh, F, 3 by 5 and 7 eighths. Let's see, this one is up and we, this is a half an inch on this side plus a half an inch on this side. So let's turn it. So a half an inch on this side and a half an inch on this side. And these pieces, five by one and a half, and I have four of these. The same as the other one, score, and half inch on every side. This is the belly bands. One, two, three, four of these score at a half and a an half. The belly bands is ready to use. And we have this H, eight by three, and that's it. The E piece, three by three and three quarters. Up against. Score at a half inch and one inch. This piece, three by six, score at a half inch and one inch. And we're okay. Three by six, score at three and one eight. Let's see, yes. You need to, if you're drawing on your pieces, you need to be careful so you don't draw in a place where where you don't, where you're not going to mat with pattern paper. And the last piece, three by one, and we're going to score it on this side at a half an inch. Yes. That was the last piece. Let's see if we can get it together. We take the first A piece, turn it on over. And burnish like this. This is the base. Let me just switch the places for this and over here, this one. Let's take this piece. This one is the top piece uh, of the envelope, so we're going to measure here on two. Take a pencil that I can erase at two.
and measure the, the middle is three. So you get this angles here and you can just take your uh, you can just cut it with a scissor or do like I'm doing here so These small edges are a bit tricky to do, but just be careful so you don't squeeze, squash, squashes the edges. And this piece and this piece is the same. Like that. I want to Cut the corners. Like so. As you can see, I'm only cutting down to the first scoring line. Let's take some glue. And glue on on this uh, flap and take our a piece then we're going to glue it on the top like this so you can see we still have this gas zip over here so that there is going to be space like this. And then we have the bottom piece. We're going to do the same. So we're gluing on the back side. Like like so. So we have like this. And now we have these pieces. I'm going to cut the corners off at like this. And it's time to glue, same way as we did with the other two, put some glue and line it up. I'm going to open this one because I don't want to squeeze the edges and I want to see that I'm going right so I'm not, I don't want to glue it. You, I don't want to destroy so you can't bend it over like this. So it's important that you look, you don't want to have a glap. Uh, a, a, you want to have it uh, like this, nice in the corners. 
so that you can flip it over and don't have problems. Because if you're gluing it too far in, you're not going to, you can't uh, do like this because it's going to stuck. Like that, and I'm checking, yes, I can do that, and now I can burnish. Let's see, we have, we can do like this, we have the envelope, we can turn it over like this. Nice, lots of space for photos. So we now we can open it up and we have this piece. We're going to, to put it over here. So we glue a small line. Like so. And take this piece and put it over on the top. And when we turn this now, there is going to be a pocket over here. If you don't like this pocket, you can just glue it over. So let's uh, make some belly bands. Here we have four of these. We're going to have two over here and two over here. Let's start with this. Because this isn't going to be belly bands, this is going to be pockets. I'm gluing a small line in here. So a small glue line here and I'm gluing on the, these pieces. Let's attach it up and against the scoring line and down and burnish. Now we have a nice pocket over here, and this one is going to be down here. A small glue line in here. Make sure that your glue line is on this side. When I'm putting pattern papers over here, I'm all I like to put one piece over the line here because it looks like you have an a whole pocket, but it isn't because it's one pocket over here and one over here. Now let's take the last two belly bands. Just push this down and put the belly band on top, against the top and against this line over here. So when you open this, you have this space here and it line exactly over here. On the next piece, we're going to do the same. Let's 
see what we have. We are opening it up, closing this one, closing this one. Spaces for tags to close it. We have this one over here with two pockets. Pocket. We're closing this one and this one and this one. And now we have piece number F. This is going to be a pocket. So let's fold this and this is going to fit right here. So on this piece, I'm turning it like this because I don't want to squeeze the edges. Let's glue over here. And it's going to be a pocket. So I'm gluing a small line down here. The line, let's turn this again, line it up against this scoring line and against the bottom and down here, over here and here. Now we have a pocket in the front. Yes. These are the pieces that is left. We have these two. We're going to work on these two now. Because this is the locker. Start by folding on the edges like this. And like this. This one we are going to glue over here, the inside. We're going to put it, so it's going to be on the, on the back side. Somewhere in the middle, but it's important that it hits it so you can't see this pocket pocket when you're opening it up when it's uh, where you like it you can open up so that we can burnish the first one is easiest because the second one we need to line it up with the other one Glue Oop. and put it underneath. No, yes, easy opening. Take it easy so it won't be moving and burnish. like this put it aside and make this one We take this small piece and uh, glue inside. Attach this one like so. So we have this piece right like this. Fold this one and glue this one on. A small glue line over here, put it down and burnish. Now we have the locker, put it on the big piece, like so.
this wasn't so hard to make. Just pull this aside, open it up, one pocket over here, two over here, an envelope, two belly bands, and one pocket. An easy project to make when you're in a bit of hurry, want to make something to give away. Instead of flowers when you're going to, to a party, maybe. Just choose your favorite paper. I've made this one in graphic paper. And I've made this one in Prima paper. It isn't uh, finished yet. And I made this one in uh, Elizabeth paper. This one I stored the... Uh, the Christmas uh, photos of the family's Christmas photos this year. Hope you like it and want to make one of your own. Thank you for now. See you next time. Bye.